or I <laughs> I got a double Irish mule with Jameson. It's not in a copper cup, but it is very refreshing. I love me some ginger beer. So, this double Kentucky mule, because what else are you gonna drink in a pub if not whiskey? No? It's not bad today. It's an Irish pub. An Irish pub, my apologies. Irish pub, Irish whiskey, James in this case. It's still pretty solid. Three out of five plus. Bear really enjoys his black velvets. It's like beer with watered down cider. It's like watered down dark beer because of the cider. Like after a taste of the cider, it's a little weird for me. I'll stick with my drink. And then I have to try every Irish pub I come into with the black velvet. Because I just love what cider does to dark beer. Get all the flavor and increases the drinkability. That's pretty solid. Give me four out of five applause for that. I got some fries with some spicy mustard. So I prefer mustard to ketchup. Smells nice and spicy. This is a beautiful chip. Now if only they had Gardein fish. This could be a thing. Fish and chips. I'm telling you. So what's really better than uh, beer and frites? Or chips in this case? Nice little potato wedge. Passes the fry test by cheating, of course. We'll dip it this spicy mustard and see how they work. They can stand a little further crispin. Oh, they're nice, hot, and fresh. I think they can do better, though. Two out of five plus. I like the flavor reminds me of sort of like Geyser Grill, but with missing on the execution part. So I'm not coming to an Irish pub without doing pickleball. It's not gonna happen. Cheers! Take all of Okay, okay. Yeah. It's not as bad as I thought. Not at all. The pickle juice is not as, not as strong as I was expecting. I thought I would be like knocked out with pickle juice, but... Who takes the bite out of the whiskey? Yeah, I was gonna say it actually really works well together. I was not expecting this at all. Another convert. Yeah. <laughs> I guess so. 